Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning, my winners. Good morning, each and every one all around the world. Whoever get the opportunity to watch us live, I bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. We bless you, Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you once again, oh God, this morning for every breath of life. Father God, we thank you for waking us up, oh God, in our rightful minds, oh God. Father God, we praise your holy matchless name, oh God. Come and have your way, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit of a living God, I ask of you, Lord God, to take control, my God, over this message, oh God. Oh God, bless the atmosphere, my God. Oh God, bless the homes of your people this morning, oh God. Oh God, open our heart this morning, oh God. Oh God, to receive, my God, what you have in store for us this morning, oh God. Because your words, oh God, I pray, my God, that it continually, Lord Jesus, to be a lamp unto our feet uh, and a light unto our path. Father, we bless you this morning. Have your way, sweet Holy Spirit of a living God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Father, we bless the Lord. You know, God is great. God is great. Uh, I just want to share with you um, what the Lord had dropped in my heart to talk about this morning and the topic gonna be the spirit of jealousy the spirit of jealousy okay each and every person I pray that your hearts are open and receptive to hear what God has in store for us this morning the spirit of jealousy what is the spirit of jealousy what is the spirit of jealousy the spirit of jealousy is evil sin biblical speaking in general the spirit of jealousy is a sin right it's a sin oh my god my god my god we have to pray against pray against the spirit of jealousy this is not a joke this is real 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 stuff we got to pray against the spirit of jealousy. It could be others jealous against us. It could be we jealous against others. So we have to pray against that spirit of jealousy. Because the spirit of jealousy, the spirit, no one is exempt from any spiritual thing at all. Because everything is a spirit. Okay? Nobody exempt of being jealous against others but <laughs> it's awesome to know that we can seek we can seek God's face to help us to deliver us from ever let that spirit of jealousy creep inside of our hearts so we gotta be careful of that gotta be careful and I keep stressing on it all the times we have to pray against everything and anything at all. We have to pray before we do anything at all, period. Okay? So the spirit of jealousy, it is a sin. The words of God says it. It is a sin in Jesus' name. But I'm going to go into Proverbs. I'm going to go into Proverbs because I always ask the Lord to help me, you know, to go into his scriptures, go into the words of God to back up you know any topic god put in my heart to talk about he helps me to find the scriptures to back it up in jesus christ's name amen amen so proverbs chapter 6 verse 34 proverbs chapter 6 verse 34 says and the words of god says for jealousy is a husband's fury Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. My God, my God. The words of God said, for jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Stop there. You see where the spirit of jealousy is a sin? Basically, what the words of God is saying. For example, a man who is married, bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, my dear, God bless you, sis. 
The words of God tell us a man's a husband fury, jealousy is a husband fury. So a man that has a wife, and even if he sees, well, some men, I'm not going to say every one of them, because some people do can control their emotion. And glory to God for that, you know, and that is, that's the power of God when someone can control their emotion. But you have some men, they can't. They're so jealous that they, they will do anything evil because of the jealousy. And it's the word of God said. it. There, the, the word of God said, for jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. My God, the word of God says it. So we see how powerful the spirit of jealousy can be. And powerful in the sense of it will lead, it will lead a person to do something evil because they're jealous. My God, in Jesus' name. So we got to be careful of the spirit of jealousy. We got to pray against it. In everything, we got to pray against it. Anything at all that is not of God, that can defile us, we got to pray against it. Just like how we pray to God for goodness. We pray to do the right thing. So we have to also pray and ask God to help us not to do the wrong thing. So the spirit of jealousy is a sin. Oh my God, my God, my God. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. So, you know, I'm going to keep on saying it, keep on saying it in the name of Jesus Christ. As long as God give me the opportunity, we have to pray about everything and pray against everything anything that tried to come against us and our loved ones in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Um, the same book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 30. Proverbs 14 verse 30. And it says, my God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, glory to God. So Proverbs, sorry, Proverbs 14, verse, reading at verse 30. And the words of God says, A sound heart is like life to the body, but envy is rottenness to the bones. My God, stop there. My God. The words of God said, A sound heart is, like, is life to the body. Jealousy stems from the heart. What a man thinketh, right? Whatever we think, it goes down to the heart. And then the heart is going to produce what we think about, what, what our thoughts was. When it goes down in the heart, and then it comes forth in our action, either by physical or verbally. So the word of God is telling us, jealousy, right? It, 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 it rot in the bones, Jealousy and envy walk together. It's the same. Jealousy, envy is the same. Different word, but has the same effect. Same meaning. When somebody's jealous, they're envious. So that is, that, that's a spirit that has to be prayed against every day. We got to pray against that each day in the name of Jesus Christ. The words of God say, envy is rottenness to the bones. What it means? Jealousy and envy can deteriorate a person's health. My God. Wow. You might be saying, what? How can that be possible? The words of God say it. God's word back up everything, you know, that we're going to speak about. The words of God back it up. Jealousy, envy is rotten. It's like rottenness to the bone. My God. If we love ourselves, Oh, praise God. If we love ourselves, we will have the love for others. So if we love ourselves, we, we're not going to speak, not, we're not going to try to harbor envy and jealousy in our hearts. Because if we do that, a person can get sick. And I'm I, I, straight up. Whatever a person thinketh in his mind, it's going to take, it's going to take, um, you know, it, it, it's going to dwell in a person's heart. So if we think good 
and, 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 and want the best for others, that gonna resurrect from inside out. And it's gonna show because our action, or we speak, is gonna tell. So whatever person harbor in their heart, that's what they're gonna bring out. The Bible says, you know, in a scripture, the Bible says, not what we is not what we take in our body defiled us. It's what comes out. My God, that's powerful. The words of God says it. It's not what we, 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 we take in our body, but it's what comes out. Out of the abundance of the heart, my God, wickedness are good. So the spirit of jealousy, it, 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 can, it can harm us. Just like how the spirit of jealousy against others can harm others. So we've got to be mindful of that. It's a spirit. So we have to pray against anything at all that try to come against our person. We got to pray against it. We got to pray against it and nullify it under the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything that try to creep up in our hearts, in our thoughts, you know, in, inside of us that is not of God, we got to pray against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We got to plead the blood of Jesus against it in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So praise be to God. So the other scriptures that I'm going into, the other book of the Bible I'm going into is Galatians chapter 6, reading at verse 4. Galatians chapter 6, reading at verse 4. My God, my God, my God. So the words of God says, But let each one examine his own work, and then... He will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Basically, the words of God is telling us, we have to examine ourselves each day. Examine our heart, our thoughts, and our heart. So when we examine ourselves in the name of Jesus, and we see in which way maybe the spirit of jealousy tried to come upon us, or the spirit of envy, we can examine ourselves first. Right? So when we examine ourselves and see if it's of God, whatever we're thinking, am I thinking the right thing? Am I harboring grudge in my heart? Am I harboring jealousy? Am I harboring envy? That's what the words of God meant. We have to examine ourselves first. When we examine ourselves and we examine our heart, are we seeing which way? You know what? I'm here. Not to harm anyone. My heart is, you know, clean towards anyone. When you start to have that type of feeling coming from within, in yourself, you know that, you know what? You prayed, you examine yourself. So you know in Jesus' name, even if someone come against you and, you know, jealous against you or envy against you, you know that, you know what? Your heart is clean. You prayed each day. You asked God to examine you. You asked God to clean your heart out. So if somebody out there wants to jealous against me or envious against me, all I can do is pray for a person. All I can do is pray for that person. I can't stop a, first, a person from being envious and jealous against me. No, I can't stop it. But I can pray against it. And I can pray for that person, for God to minister to that person's heart and clean them heart out. But how that going to happen? God is not going to come down and clean our hearts up. God is not going to do anything we don't want him to do. So first, we have to examine ourselves. And second, we have to pray for such a person who is coming against us with the spirit of jealousy or the spirit of envy. Because it do happen. It's real. But only God can change that person's heart. Only God can work on that person. And that person have to want that change. We have to want that change. Amen. We have to want that change. We have to want that change within. And only God can work in our hearts. Only God can speak to our hearts through his words. Only God can do that. But we have to want that change. So how are we going to change? We got to pray and ask God to help us. Because we can't do it on our own strength. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So the scripture says... You know, but let each one examine his own work and then he will have rejoiced in himself alone and not in another. So we have to be mindful of that. We can't try to, we can't change nobody. I'm going to be honest. We can't change nobody. 
we have to want that change for ourselves. Likewise, a person has to want changes in their life for their own self. They have to make up their mind and knowing that, you know what, what I'm doing is wrong. I can't go on, you know, with my life like this. I can't get up, you know, fighting against others that don't do me anything. Oh, God, help me. We have to pray for that. That person has to pray for that change. And the only way a change comes and only way a change can start to manifest, it has to start from within. So we got to examine ourselves as the words of God said. Examine ourselves and see where and what we're doing that is wrong and that is defiling ourselves. We have to examine ourselves to make sure that our heart is right before God and before men. We have to do our own examination in Jesus Christ's name. Likewise, others have to do their own examination in Jesus Christ's name. But we got to pray again to speak spirit of jealousy even if someone trying to come against it because they have envy envy against us we got to pray and ask god to deliver such a person and as i said that person only can be delivered if they want to be delivered in jesus christ's name amen amen praise be to god the other book of the bible i'm going to go into is the book of james chapter 3 uh verses 14 to 16 James chapter 3, verses 14 to 16. And the word of God says, But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, wow, see, the heart, everything comes from the heart. Do not boast and lie against the truth. My God, verse 14 said, but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. You know what that means? Whatever a man has in his heart, whatever he has in his heart, whatever any corruption a person has in their hearts, the Bible is trying to tell us, we should not get upon boast and act as if, you know, you know, like a self-righteousness thing. You know, we boast and brag about anything at all. The Bible's trying to tell us, no, 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 no. Don't brag about it and then try to speak the truth. My God. So in other words then, people are in all kind of animosity, envy, jealousy in their hearts and then act as if like they're so self-righteous and all is well with them. No. They have to, back again to the word examine. They have to examine themselves before they can even speak the words of God. Because they, I can get up right now and I can hear speaking the words of God. Right? And everything is facts, right? The words of God is truth. But if me are carrying envy and jealousy and animosity in my heart against others, basically what the God is the Lord the, the words of God is saying, no, don't do it. Because when we do that, we lie against the truth. That is powerful. We are gonna lie against the truth, and the truth is the word of God. So I can get up and I can brag and boast and carry on as if, no, I have arrived and whatnot and whatnot. And then I'm going to talk about, and God said, God says, the Bible says we're lying against the truth. Because guess what? Me, I have to clean up my heart first. Me, I have to ask God to forgive me, cleanse me, Lord, purge me, wash me with isop. Cleanse me, Father God, let me be whiter than snow. I have to go before God genuine. I have to go before God with a repentant heart. I have to go before God with, with a genuine heart and genuine prayer in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So this is what the words of God is saying. You know, but if you have bitterness, envy, you know, I, 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 I can't carry bitterness and envy in my heart. And then I'm going to think I'm going to go before people, uh, go, not even say people, go before God Almighty and, and, and act as if like I have arrived. You know, when deep down in my heart, I am carrying an envy or a grudge. No, no, no. God don't work like that. God is not a God of confusion. Jesus Christ said, come as we are. Seek him. If we need anything at all in life, join him. Whatever we need to be delivered from. The word of God says, seek the Lord Jesus. Seek Christ. Seek him. Seek him first. Anything at all that is trying to defile us, we got to pray against it. We got to ask the Holy Spirit to help us to overcome such a thing that is defiling our daily walk in Christ Jesus. Praise God. We have to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help us, deliver us from such a thing. I'm telling you, everything is a spirit. 
the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of envy, the spirit of bitterness. Everything is a spirit. But how can we get delivered from it? We have to want deliverance. We have to want that change. You can lay hand on yourself long as you believe in the power of the Almighty God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. We can lay hands on ourselves and we can ask God to deliver us from anything at all that tried to come against us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We can deliver, we can deliver ourselves to the, to the words of God, to the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of the Lamb of God. The blood of Jesus has washed us and, and, and purify our hearts in Jesus Christ's name. Everything that we do, either good or bad, it's stemming from the heart. Oh, glory to God. It's stemming, it's coming from our hearts. The Bible said God, God search, he's, he, 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 he tests our thought and he searches our hearts. The words of God says that. God don't look at the outer appearance as men look at. The words of God says it. God looks at our hearts. So if our heart is harboring jealousy and envy and bitterness, God cannot work through us. He cannot speak through us. We have to go before the Lord God Almighty and ask him to deliver us, to help us, to set us free from anything at all that's trying to defile us. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We have to seek God's face for that first and foremost. God is, God is a good God. God is a forgiving God. God is merciful. His mercy due upon us each day. His grace and His mercy upon us each day. God is, God is compassionate. So when we go before God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ and ask him to deliver us from anything at all that's trying to defile us, God will do it as long as we go before him in faith, as long as we go before him with a genuine heart. Because remember, if the heart is bitter and corrupt, God will not hear our prayer. That's a fact. We could pray till morning, noon, and night. We could pray till thy kingdom come. Our prayer does go to the ceiling, boom, and it drop back. My God. And we're wondering why God is not answering our prayer. Why God is not coming when we want him to come. Why God is not, you know, doing what I asked him to do. Hmm. Examine ourselves. Examine ourselves and ask God why we are not hearing Him, hearing from Him. Why, will whatever we pray for, we're not seeing it manifesting. Yeah, we need to go before God and ask God why, and God will speak to our heart through His Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. He will. So we gotta be careful. Do not harbor any jealousy, envy, bitterness in our hearts to others. Do not do it. Winners, I'm speaking to, 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 to all of us. Ask God to, to, to help us. Whatever we're going to, whatever weaknesses, whatever that's trying to defile us in the name of Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to help us in Jesus Christ's name. And I'm telling you, God said his, in his word, his spirit give us way to escape. The Spirit of God gives us lot ways to escape. Anything try to come upon us, we just pray against it. And it's going to be a daily prayer. Don't be afraid. The Lord Jesus Christ said, come as we are. We are not perfect. God knows our hearts. He said he know, God knows everything about us. Don't be afraid to approach God. Whatever you're going through in life journey, don't be afraid to seek God's face for help. Man cannot help us. Only the Almighty God through prayer and supplication unto him. He will come. He will deliver us. He will help us. In Jesus Christ's name, as I said, lay, lay your hand on your head. Lay your hands on your heart. Wherever you believe, you're getting an attack from the enemy. 
Lay your hands on yourself, on your loved ones. Lay hands on them. Pray over them. Ah, glory to God in Jesus Christ's name. Okay, so this is my message I have for you, my winners. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, each and every person, you know, I pray that you had opened your hearts and your hearts are receptive to receive what God, you know, spoken to us this morning about. Ask the Lord to deliver you from the spirit of jealousy in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So I pray that you were blessed, each and every person that watching this live, that's going to watch the live after, you know, please just, just let it, 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 it resurrect in your spirit, resurrect in your heart. Let the words of God, you know, be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. Stay strong and courageous. Stay focused and remember, go out there and share the love of Christ with others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. God bless you.